Well, you've probably heard the saying, a picture says a thousand words. Homeless animals outnumber homeless people five to one. The pictures that animal shelters take could make a big difference in a dog or a cat finding a forever home. And that's where Shelter Me Photography comes in. They take photos of homeless pets and offer a hands-on photography workshop. Co-founder and lead photographer Nanette Martin joins us now with more. And Nanette, tell me, who are these little guys that we have, or girls? A uh, girl guy, Eddie, is uh, short for Oedipus, and <laughs> she is my Katrina souvenir. Yeah. Found her when I was covering Katrina. Oh. And um, Waldo is a Harvey uh, survivor. survivor. So wow. apparently I shop at Hurricanes. <laughs> You've been through life. a lot. Talk about Shelter Me Photography. What is its mission? Um, you know, our mission is really to change the way people think about shelter pets. And if we can change the way they think, then we can change the way they act. Where did you get the idea for this? How did it get started? Oh, boy. Um, well, in 96, I left a 12-year career as an environmental geologist to go back to school to study photography at the Art Institute of Colorado. Uh, before I graduated in two years, I had a full page published in Life magazine. Um, oh. I, you know, everything was pointing that I'm on the right path. So uh, I got out and, and started working uh, with the film crew on hate crimes. Uh, that led to uh, shooting assignments for magazines, and People Magazine started hiring me. Um, I used that money to fund my own personal documentary projects, which was documenting the aftermath of disasters. So I did Los Alamos fire, Cedar fire, I did 9-11. I had personal escorts down to the holes, um, and then there was Katrina. Mm -hmm. um, everything changed at Katrina. I went down there to cover it myself, and then People Magazine picked me up for seven days, sent me out on a... Um, That's okay, don't okay. worry about it. Someone's <laughs> calling her phone. We could answer it and tell them you're on live TV <laughs> yeah, if you yeah, want. I could do that. <laughs> um, they sent me out in a boat with the National Guard, and while I was out in the boat, I saw lots of dogs that yeah. were struggling. And That's when you wanted to make a change and do something about it. Why is Shelter Me Photography so important for animal shelters, you think? Well, because being a photographer is not on the list of requirements of skills to work mm -hmm. in the animal welfare community. And it's unfortunate because the community really is a, a, a triangle where the animal control gets them off the street out of danger. The shelter takes care of them, feeds them, vets them. And then there's the third leg, which should be dedicated to nothing but getting the pets out of the shelters and into homes. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it is really difficult to get great pictures of shelter pets for a variety of reasons. Well, you know, I want to take a look at some of the... Eddie, where are you going? I want to take a look at some of the pictures that we have and talk about where you photograph these dogs. And then, um, is it difficult? Like, I, when I first walked in, I was like, gosh, you have to have the best job. But it has to be difficult, too, to see these animals trying to find a forever home. It's hard on, on multiple levels. Uh, photographers, we, we like to be in control. And you go into a shelter, there's a lot of stuff going on. And it's loud. Your subjects don't speak... You don't know their history. Um, you've got to figure out, you know, what kind of state of mind is that pet in so that you use the right noises. You don't scare them even more mm -hmm. when you're trying to get their attention. You want them to look into the lens so that when somebody's looking at that picture, they're looking into their eyes. Mm -hmm. And if there's going to be a connection, it's going to happen with that eye contact. But the challenge really is, you know, you have to have good photography skills. You have to understand lighting. You have to be oh. able to connect with these animals. And that's the most important thing, really is to connect with them. And to do that, you have to be vulnerable. Oh my gosh, and look so at Buck. It so cute. Yeah, I was gonna ask you, with the shelters, do you teach them how to take pictures? And if so, you already gave me a couple tips, but would you mind giving me a, a couple more? It took me eight years to get to where I felt like I knew enough to get in front of a class and teach what I knew. Mm -hmm. So we started teaching in 2013, and uh, I have been, I think, uh, I counted them up just in the last year, uh, I moved into uh, an RV and I travel around the country. I live in it. We've been in 29 shelters in uh, nine states. We've taught 26 workshops. And basically, um, I have a class of shelter workers which don't have photography skills. Right. But they have the heart and they have the commitment. So you've got to teach them. So we I have teach them. like 30 seconds left. I need to find out about your coloring book project oh, and how we can okay. help you raise money. Well, we're looking for sponsors to buy ad space in the coloring book. It's our first shelter dog photography coloring book. It's a uh, entertainment and educational. We're going to have other books coming up. That's great. But um, uh, we're also going to do some slideshow presentations to raise money at breweries. We've got one coming up on April 3rd at Brewsbury. 
Bruce, okay. Bruce. I'll find it. We'll find out. We'll give them uh, the phone number okay. for you. Okay, okay, and that'll help you raise money. Yes. Perfect. Yes, we need help. Well, we thank you money. so much. I appreciate all the work you do to help find forever loving homes for our little ones. Again, you can help support Shelter Me Photography and help homeless pets find forever homes. You can learn more on their Facebook page. Go to Shelter Me Photo. You can donate online, too, at coloradogives.org slash Shelter Me Photography. You can also learn more on their website at sheltermephotography.org or call 303 929-5655.